if protein is deficient in our diet if the intake of protein is is very less if you are not taking sufficient protein in a, in your diet that may leads to stunted growth stunted growth means your growth will be prevented and the face will swell up the swollen face and discoloration of hair the hair color changes you will get lot of skin diseases and you may get diarrhea con continuously therefore if protein is less in your diet that leads to stunted growth swollen face discoloration of hair the color of the hair changes usually the hair is black in color okay the color changes you will get lot of skin diseases and we may get diarrhea okay diarrhea means loose motion so these are the symptoms of less protein in our diet okay therefore you have to include more and more protein in your diet okay protein you will get it, get through pulses grams fishes milk egg white all these are protein rich food items so you being small children you have to take more and more uh, protein rich diet you have to include more proteins in your food otherwise your growth will be affected are you clear and if both proteins and carbohydrates are less you know carbohydrate carbohydrate we are getting through our rice through wheat okay all the cereals milk potato tapioca all these are carbohydrate rich food if both proteins and carbohydrates are less in your diet that leads to complete stoppage of growth your store your growth will be arrested you will be very thin and lean and you will be unable to move even a small distance okay so what are the symptoms of uh, absence of both proteins and carbohydrates in your diet if both carbohydrate and proteins are less in your diet see that leads to complete stoppage of growth complete stoppage of growth and you will be lean and thin very thin you will be and uh, it will be very difficult even to move you feel very weak you cannot move properly you cannot even walk for a small distance therefore we must include sufficient carbohydrate and proteins in our diet otherwise you will get such deficiency diseases study about vitamins and the deficiency diseases of vitamins see vitamins are very essential nutrients which is a protective nutrients which is needed in our body in very lesser amount but if that amount is not available in our diet that may leads to serious problems there are two type groups of vitamins the vitamins are classified into two groups they are water soluble vitamins vitamin b and vitamin c vitamin b and vitamin c are water soluble vitamins they are soluble in water that's why i told you earlier we should not wash after cutting the fruits and vegetables the some of the nutrient like water soluble vitamins may be lost so vitamin b and c are water soluble vitamins vitamin a vitamin d vitamin e and vitamin k okay a d e k vitamin a d e k are fat soluble vitamins so which are the two groups of vitamins water soluble and fat soluble vitamin b and c are water soluble vitamins vitamin 
A, D, E and K are fat soluble vitamins. Now let us discuss few vitamins and their deficiency diseases. See vitamin A. Vitamin A is very important because vitamin A is needed for a sound vision. If you want to have a very good eyesight, you must take lot of vitamin A rich food. Similarly, vitamin A is good for keeping your healthy skin. If you take carrot, papaya, mango, milk and fish oil, all these are rich sources of vitamin A. If vitamin A is less in our diet, that leads to a disease known as night blindness. Okay, night blindness is the deficiency disease which is caused due to the lack of vitamin A in our diet. Now let us see about vitamin B. Vitamin B is a complex vitamin. That's why we usually used to say that vitamin B complex. Vitamin B complex includes vitamin B1, B2, B4, B6 and B12. So it's a complex vitamin. Here, let us see about vitamin B1. See, vitamin B1, you will get if you take liver, unpolished rice. If you polish the rice, you know the pony rice and all, polished rice. During the polishing, the vitamin B1 will be lost. So, unpolished rice we have to take. Wheat, green leaves, all these are very rich source of vitamin B1. If vitamin B1 is less in your diet, if there is no vitamin B1, if you are not including vitamin B1 sufficiently in your diet, you will get a disease known as beriberi. Okay, beriberi is a disease which is due to the lack of vitamin B1 in our diet. You feel very weak. You will be having weak muscles. Okay, you will feel very weak and uh, you cannot do the normal things if you are having the disease very, very. And next one is vitamin C. Vitamin C is one of the most important vitamin to protect our body. Vitamin C are found in all citrus fruits. Citrus fruits means orange, lemon and all. So orange, lemon, gooseberries, tomato. All these are rich source of vitamin C. If vitamin C is less in your diet, your teeth and gum will be affected. There will be pus formation in your gum and there will be bleeding through the gum and the loose, the teeth will be loose. And that condition is known as scurvy. That disease, deficiency disease of vitamin C is scurvy. Next comes vitamin D. See, sunlight is the best natural source that provide you vitamin D. This is one of the important question. Which is the natural source of vitamin D? Which is that? Very good, sunlight. Sunlight is a natural source of vitamin D. So getting sunlight, okay, in the evening time or during early morning hours is good for your health in order to get vitamin D. Milk, fish, eggs are rich source of vitamin D. The deficiency of vitamin D leads to a diseases of bones and teeth, especially the weak bone. The bone will bend. Okay, for healthy bones, vitamin D is very, very essential. If there is no sufficient vitamin D in your diet, that causes a deficiency disease which affects your bone, that leads to the bending of bone, and that disease is known as rickets. Okay, deficiency of vitamin D causes rickets. So these are the four deficiency diseases that we have to study in this class. Hope you understood this part. Okay, now let us see the 
deficiency diseases of some of the minerals okay let us see deficiency disease of some of the minerals this year we have to study about three minerals and their deficiency diseases one is calcium another one is iron and the third one is iodine calcium is very essential for our healthy bone and healthy teeth for strong bones and strong teeth we need calcium you will get calcium from milk eggs and fishes of course vegetables if calcium is lesser in our diet when if you if you are not taking sufficient calcium in your diet that leads to diseases related to bones and teeth okay the bone and tooth decay your tooth decay is because of deficiency of calcium and another one is iron next one is iron iron is very essential for red blood cells formation rbc formation iron is essential for hemoglobin formation hemoglobin is a pigment that give red color to our blood if there is no sufficient rbc or hemoglobin that leads to a disease known as anemia so deficiency of iron causes anemia so in order to prevent anemia you have to include a lot of green leaves liver tomato apple and many fruits and green leaves in your diet and the next one is iodine iodine is essential in very small amount in micro quantity but if the iodine is not there in your diet if iodine is absent or less in your diet that leads to the bulging of the neck portion the thyroid gland okay you might have seen some of the people are having a bulged part a swollen neck that is because of the absence of iodine in the diet okay that disease is known as goiter the deficiency of iodine leads to a disease known as goiter that is bulging of the thyroid gland neck region if you want to avoid that disease you have to include lot of fishes or any marine food seafoods all the seafoods are rich in iodine or salt because the salt is a rich source of iodine then green leaves include more and more green leaves in your diet that is not only help for getting iodine which is a rich source of vitamin c vitamin a then roughage all these things are there in vegetables and fruits so what is the deficiency disease of iodine s yes. goiter okay good what is the deficiency disease of iron anemia very good uh, what is the reason for bone and tooth decay okay deficiency of calcium okay okay very good